started afternoon. It's literally 12.30, so it's only just afternoon. It's fine. Um, I'm just gonna have cereal today for, it's not brunch, for, uh, breakfast? Oh, I don't like that. Uh, for my first meal of the day. And just look at how much counter space I have to make my cereal. This is so exciting. This banana has its own zone. This is the banana zone. I was just going through Time Hop today, like the app that um, links to all of your social media accounts and shows you what happened on this day last year, on this day two years ago, on this day three years ago, blah, blah, blah. And it reminded me that on April 14th in 2019, I was exploring Luxembourg. And now I'm exploring the idea of making my bed. Times they are changing. Like, look at that. It's so much better than this. I mean, I like sleeping, but... Mm. Okay. Alright, shall we trivia? Let's trivia. Uh, number one. What brand of beer is brewed... Oh no, is brewed using water from the river that flows through Amsterdam? It's a Dutch beer. I'm trying to remember why I've been to Amsterdam twice. What beer is there? I don't know. Number two, the nose, the ear, the aorta, and the vulva all contain a component that is also a term in architecture. It is a nine-letter word that derives from the Latin for front entrance. What is it? Front entrance. Like vestibule? I think it's vestibule. Vestibule, that's nine letters. Okay. Number three, what three-letter word relating to a spiritual practice is the Japanese translation of the Sanskrit term dhyana? Zen? Maybe it's Zen? I don't know. Number four, a grand total of 91 popes, including the first pope, are interred at the site of which famous Italian church? Um... I've got an image of an Italian church in my head, and I cannot remember what it's called. The only word that's coming to my head is basilica, but that's like a jillion churches could be called a basilica. Basil um. Oof. Okay, number five. Eric Clapton, Patty Boyd, and Yoko Ono are all credited as guest musicians on which Beatles album? Shit. Um, what album? Sgt. Pepper? Uh, Abbey Road, I'm, I want to say Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart, because all the people on the cover, but that may have nothing to do with it, well, but Yoko Ono wasn't there at the beginning, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know discology, oh dear, alright, so, it was the White Album, it wasn't Sgt. Pepper's, I did say it, but it wasn't my guess, so no, and the Popes are buried at St. Peter's Basilica, I did say Basilica. <laughs> Can I get a half point for that? I got the longer word. Basilica. Diana in Japanese is Zen. Got it. I'm so dumb. The beer made from water that runs through the river that runs through Amsterdam is Amstel. I'm so dumb. I've had it. I've probably touched the water from the river. I'm dumb. <laughs> Vestibule, good. Okay, so I got vestibule, I got zen, I got basilica. <laughs> Two for real, but I'm giving myself a half point because I'm trying to be nice to myself. Currently out on my walk, taking a completely different turn than I've ever seen before. On the phone with my mom, but I've muted myself so she doesn't know that I'm talking. Yeah. And apparently I'm only seven minutes away from home, but I've never seen this street before. 
That's crazy. Wow, cleared out. I ended up going to the um, local fruit and veg market uh, by my house that for some reason also sells meat, but mostly produce. Got my fix, got my strawberry fix, was feeling down, needed a boost. Bananas, sweet potato, cabbage, carrots, spinach. So I'm going to put these together with the sun-dried tomatoes. Yeah, uh, asparagus. And the thing that I am most excited about that genuinely boosted my day up, other than these and talking to my mother, was I found yeast. I found yeast, and I had to like reread it three times because the word for yeast in French is levure. This is uh, baker's yeast, le boulangerie, um, and the word for baking powder is levure chimique, like literally chemical leavening agent, if you want to say it that way. Uh, and there have been times where I've bought baking powder thinking that it was yeast and then just being very, very confused. So. I found yeast! This is very exciting! You can use it for bread machine or by hand. Cool. Excellent. So, um, I'm not going to yeast bake, I'm not going to do any yeasted breads today because um, it's not very warm today. It's sunny but not warm. And um, it'll be a, just a little bit trickier for um, yeasted dough to prove. Is it proof or prove? I've never been certain about that to rise um, before baking. Um, so I might just wait a couple days until the temperature shoots up a little bit so it's a bit easier on my end. Um, I do, however, I may have to bake something anyway because I'm taking off my shoes, by the way. I have um, some milk that has gone a little bit thick and not, uh, let's say, not drinkable. Um, and I don't want to just throw it away. I have a recipe for sour milk chocolate cake. And depending on how much of the milk I have compared to how it fits in the recipe, I might either do a half batch or a whole batch. That could be fun. Have with breakfast. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. I think I might clean my toaster today. But not right now. I'm going to put this stuff away first. All right, toaster. You and me, we got a date. Dinner is heating, which is why it's noisy. Um, I found the tray to release here, but there's I don't I don't know if I can show this adequately. Um, as I pull the thing out, it's just leaving so many crumbs behind. So I'm probably just gonna have to dump this whole thing straight over a trash can. Cool. Is this going to work? Probably not. Okay, let's just begin. Worst comes to worst, I'll just have to sweep it up. Except I can't get one of my fingers to grip a corner. There we go. Oh, no, I don't. Just a little bit. Oh, God. This is a disaster. Okay. Yep. Very, actually. Yeah, it is collecting. I'm worried I'm breaking it. Oh man. Actually, that was quite effective because this bag was genuinely empty and I did miss, I, I missed some on the floor, but um, that all just came out of my toaster. Oh my god. And that's what didn't make it into the bag. That's crazy. Alright, I've put her back, um, but I didn't plug it back in because I used a sponge and water to like tidy up the sides of it and rinse around the edge and I just wanted to air dry before it has any chance to combine water with a current of any kind. And I just cleaned my damn counter! Stupid toaster. I'm just kidding, thank you for all the toast. Alright, dinner has been reheated. A little glass of sippy sip has been poured, mostly because the bottle was opened and I don't, I just don't think it's gonna last very long, so down the hatch, Cote du Rhone. It's not really your season, but you'll do in a pinch. Living my best Julia Child life. Um, i sure she has a recipe for chocolate cake somewhere, but dries, which I will whisk 
more thoroughly after this. Butter and water with cocoa powder. Good news, the dough or batter is coming together. Bad news, the chocolate overspilled a little bit on the stove. Just a touch. Like the recipe will still work, but now I get to clean this thing that I cleaned like three days ago. Alright. Calm down. Alright, I've got most of it cleared up. Just need the um, burner to cool down so I can do a once over with a sponge. I just got all this black gunk off. Ugh. That's fine. Okay, back to cake. Let's have some sour milk. Ooh, mm, super appetizing. Wee. Oh, actually, that looks disgusting. Operation Shell Extraction is successful. Hurrah! Look how beautiful and glossy that is. I'm going to let it focus so you can see it even better. Ooh, look, it's so nice and shiny. You know when I was a kid, I used to hate when my mom would use a spatula to get the batter out of the bowl and into the pan because it would leave the bowl, like, very little to... You know when you, like, lick the beaters, lick the, the bowl, lick the spoon afterwards, there's, like, nothing left? But I have to admit, as an adult, it's quite practical. And I still get to lick the spatula, so... And you know what? There's sour milk in this cake batter. You can't taste it. Pro tip, if you have like slightly thickened off milk that's separated a little bit, don't throw it away, make it into cake. All right, countertop once again clean, as is the stove top. Cakery is bakering <laughs> and dishes are washed. I'm kind of proud of myself, domestic. Not to say that all women need to be domestic. Everyone needs to be domestic. It's not just women. Or people who identify, who society identifies to be women, even though they may not identify it that way themselves. Okay. Woke. <laughs> Ooh, she foggy, she steamy. Um, it, oops, it might be done. No, I don't think it's done. It's still quite jiggly. Uh, well... Toothpick comes out clean, but I think it's still a tiny bit too jiggly. I'm going to give it five more minutes and then she'll come out. Ooh, tastes nice though. Well, I accidentally stabbed my thumb into it um, with the pot holder. That's fine. I'll just eat that corner first. But it, it really has to cool down. It is piping hot. 